Hello to everyone and welcome to today's episode of Full Throttle on G2 Online. That today we are going to be talking about the Manchester Scout um, added to the um, KO Perico heist update on G2 Online. The Manchester Scout is a motorcycle featured in G2 Online added to the 1.52 KO. Kyo Perico heist update. The design of the Manchester Scout is based on the 500cc KTM. The Manchester Scout can be purchased from Warstock Cash and Carry for $225,000 and can be stored in any personal vehicle garage and MC clubhouse. This vehicle can also be customized at the LSC along with the workshop within the clubhouse that you own. Vehicle name is Manchester Scout Vehicle Class Motorcycle. Available on Warstock Cash and Carry. T uh, price $225,000. Store location, garage, modifications, LSC. Um, sale price once it's been bought. If you sell it straight away, you will get $135,000. And in game is speed. Uh, 80.78 miles per hour or 130 kilometers an hour only seats one which is a bit odd uh, rear wheel drive and has five gears now from personal experience from this uh, motorcycle um, this thing can wheelie like a long 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 time even at the slowest of speeds um, and also it seems to be able to turn pretty well um, I don't really know of any bike that does wheelies like this or can turn like this while doing a wheelie um, so there is that it's pretty like it's it's, ba it's basically like the normal um, Manchez which until now I thought was called a Sanchez it might be I'm not too sure a lot of people call it Manchez. I thought it was called Sanchez, but never mind. Um, but personal experience-wise, it's a fun little, it's a fun little bike, fun little off-roader, pretty decent off-road as well. Customization-wise, there is quite a lot to, with this. It's basically like the normal one, but you've got some decent customizations on it. So you've got um, the frames around, like the engine that adds a little bit onto the back and then a bit onto the handlebars and you get a little mesh thing on the front of light you got some saddlebags that you can put on the f on either side of the fuel tank along with some more racking on the rear of the bike that you can add some canisters or a jerry can to the wheels unfortunately motorcycles do not have an off-road section they've just got the standard wheels so if you wanted to change the color of the rims you would have to have different rims on it which unfortunately changes the tires to street tires rather than keeping the off-road ones um, but other than that it's pretty much the same as any other like new vehicle the liveries are just like the standard um, ones from the gun running DLC being like the camos um, but it is fun having some little having some little decent things that we can do to a motorcycle because we've got quite a few motorcycles in the game but not a lot of them you can do many customizations to like this um, why it's one seat I'm not too sure they could have added a rear racking option as in to get rid of the rear racking and add a seat but whatever performance wise um, well it's basically a dirt bike it handles how you think a dirt bike would go but I don't really I haven't really done motorcycles on the test track but I've put it around the test track anyway just to show you what it's like it has got a little bit of understeer at high speed but I'll show you that now
and also did the handling course. I only did the one um, because I mean I don't I don't really need to do two of them to understand the handling of it. It's a dirt bike, so this is the handling as well. And my overall summary of the motorcycle it's fun it's nifty and it's a very it's actually a pretty decent price so I th I'd say if you were looking for a new motorcycle to add to your collection this is definitely one considering the amount of stuff that you can put on it and the prices of some vehicles that Rockstar have been putting out this is definitely a good one to get this update isn't too bad with prices of vehicles apart from the sports car um, they're not like too bad I mean the boat is pretty you know that's pretty mad but for this bike um, just over two hundred thousand dollars and what you can do to it it's a pretty good deal so let me know what you thought in the comments below leave a like if this video was helpful in any way along with what your thoughts are on the bike if you have purchased it, what are your ideas of it? If you have not yet purchased it, what are your worries? And maybe I will try and address them. Along with click the notification bell if you don't be notified of any future updates or videos I unleash onto the channel. And if you have not done so already, the subscribe button as well, along with the notification bell. And I will see you all in the next one.